Elizabeth, I vow to be honest to you. Against all my instincts, <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest with you, even if it's not what you want to hear, and I vow to work to feel what you feel and to understand your emotions and to fight my tendency to withdraw within myself. I vow to work to make us work. I vow to 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 not take you for granted. I vow to be here. I, I vow to make you know that being with you is the most important thing in my life and there's nothing that can keep me away from you. Sam, <laughs> I vow to do everything in my power to make you feel cherished as long as we are alive and together, and maybe afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I vow to do everything in my power to listen to you, to know that sometimes we both just need to talk it out, and to enjoy our time together as long as we can. Do you, Sam, take Elizabeth to be your wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, from this day forward until death do you part? I do. Do you, Elizabeth, take Sam to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, from this day forward until death do you part? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> that everyone could be here. Woo! It's like everyone I've ever known. Mm -hmm. 
now. Yeah. <laughs> happiness to see you finally together and we wish you many many happy lovely years so without saying more uh mazel tov <laughs> and i said you know we should hang out sometimes and she said oh i have a boyfriend <laughs> and i was like oh well i'm gay so <laughs> I was like, well, I'm only 23. She's like, oh, I thought you were like 32. <laughs> so from a creepy encounter comes an amazing friendship. And um, I, have, I haven't been as lucky as a lot of people to have family as close to me. But when I first started hanging out with Betty and when she first came into my life, I did not feel any type of what if, like what kind of person is this? I just felt nothing but acceptance. I felt nothing but love. I felt nothing but, um, sorry, a little teary. Um, the last uh, four years of my life would probably have been a lot harder if it wasn't for Betty and Sam in my life, and they've done a lot for me. And I just know that uh, I just know that this is meant to be. Like, if there was ever a fairy tale romance on this earth, it's the two of you. Elizabeth and 
one of her friends were talking and they were conjuring up this story. And they had fictitious people in the story. And the question came up, well, what do we call him? And Elizabeth said, let's call him Spencer. It didn't mean anything to me at the time, but I know now why she called that person Spencer. The story of how Sam and Elizabeth first met is a really quite interesting story. I'm not going to go into the whole story. You can get it from them. But Claude and Cindy and I had the real honor, I think, to being there when Sam and Elizabeth actually first met. And as Kim alluded to, when Kim and my wife and I first witnessed Sam and Elizabeth meeting, there was no question. It was a good meeting. Yeah. Don't be afraid to join if you know how to dance to this song. <laughs> oh yeah, don't worry about that. Thank <laughs> you.